Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today I'm back at the desk at the old setup with with more uh with more figures on display right uh, this should, should be a little change of scenery um so to where we have been the, the big brown chair um but today we have a double feature so courtesy of our friends at the Noble Collection um and Bendy Figs today we are taking a look at two figures from their Lord of the Rings offerings um, here we're taking a look at Gollum and uh, and and Sauron. Um, so we're going to take a look at both of these figures. Uh, these are half of Wave One. Um, I already had popped open and taken a look on uh, on our YouTube on our Instagram channel at Gandalf here. Um, this is the third, and then of course Frodo. But uh, taking a quick look at the packaging here, we'll just use Sauron as an example. We get a really nice. Um, you know, the, the new logo there for Bendy Figs, the Lord of the Rings logo, obviously we get Sauron, uh, you know, the nice Lord of the Rings art there of the actual ring. And then on the back, of course, you get the cross cell, the, uh, the art of Sauron from the film, uh, as well as, you know, exploring the world of Bendy Figs. Uh, you know, they, they have a bunch of different IPs across a couple of different brands. So, um... Yeah, and, and we will definitely get into the detail as soon as we flip the camera around here. But as you can see, um, these figures are, uh, they are six, seven inch figures. Now, before we get into anything else and flip this around and get into the detail, the one, the, the elephant in the room, if you will, um, these are, are scale, two, they are all the same scale. So they are not to scale with each other. So as you can see, um, you know, Gollum's head is larger than Sauron's head, but they are the same height. Um, you know, that's definitely a choice. I would love to talk to the designers of the figures to determine why they went that route um, and, you know, didn't make them, you know, in scale with each other, but they are on the surface great looking figures. You can see the detail and everything there. So um, let's flip the camera around and let's take a closer look at Gollum and Sauron. So here we go. We have our Sauron figure. We'll start off with him out of the box. Um, and as you can see, the detail on this figure for a, um, a bendy figure, what you would normally think as an old school bendy figure is unbelievable. Um, the level of detail in the sculpt, um, the accessory, all of the armor pieces, the paint, uh, there's actual weathering, and as you can see, as I continue to spin him around here, um, you can see even on the cape, there's some really cool wearing detail, uh, you know, all throughout this figure. Um, if you uh, di did not know that this was a bendable figure, chances are you'd see it and think it was probably resin or um, or like a mini statuette of some kind. That's, that's how good we're talking um, detail here. Uh, moving him a little bit closer so that you can really kind of see that. I mean, it is throughout, like, it, it looks it looks like metal. Um, they did an, an absolutely fantastic job. Um, all of the, uh, and, and you can see he does stand on his own here. Um, a little shaky, but he does stand on his own without the base. So the included base, which uh, which you see right here, really cool detail for Lord of the Rings. It has the, the elvish... Uh, uh, text from around the one ring on it and then on the back we do have the bendy figs and uh and noble toys uh noble collection logos along with uh you know the, the rest of the information for new line cinema cinema and uh and and all of that uh we do get two really big peg holes here in the bottom of his feet um but again you know in terms of of his bendiness he does come with an accessory which um, is, is also bendy, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny, but, uh, you know, it does fit in his hand. He was, he's able to hold it nicely, um, you know, with, without any effort there, which is great in terms of his motion. Um, we do get a nice soft rubber cape that's attached, uh, which is, which is excellent. Um, you know, the, the, the details throughout, if you are familiar with bendable figures, you'll know that there are typically these little holes, um, that's, I don't know, I actually don't know why they're there, but they're on every bendy figure I've ever had, um, going, going back as far as I can remember. And in terms of the motion, I mean, you're not really going to get much in the way of, of, you know, quote unquote articulation. There, there is, you know, 
wire in there that will hold form to certain shapes, uh, you know, but you're not getting much here. It's really the arms and legs and the, the movement is very, very, very subtle. Um, you know, no bend at the waist, no real twisting at the head. I mean, you could feel it move, but it's not going anywhere. Same with, you know, looking up or looking down, it kind of just returns back to that main thing. So really you're looking at, um, you're looking at a statue and, oh, and, of, and of course on, on Sauron, you know, we do have, they did add the little, you could see the gold ring on there. So let's move over to, uh, to Gollum. And what I'll do is I'll just peg this guy back on his stand and we'll move him to the back and he can just, he can watch as we continue here. So, um, looking at, uh, looking at Gollum here again, uh, we mentioned this kind of up front, but yeah, these figures, <laughs> Gollum actually stands, um, slightly taller <laughs> <laughs> than uh than Sauron which I find problematic as as an adult collector I think as a kid um who again these are intended for ages uh seven and up um so as a kid like cool I mean <laughs> when you get it you get a handful of plastic and rubber here so uh you know I, I, I'm I'm not going to beat that up uh too much but in terms of a, a collector grade um, which I think, you know, with the name Noble Collection being attached to this, it's definitely something that I'm, I'm sure people, you know, considered when they, you know, when they're, when they are purchasing these, but please do know that they do not scale with each other. They are the same scale. Um, so, uh, Smeagol, same thing, uh, Gollum, Smeagol, uh, you get that same exact stand. There's no difference. All, all of the, um, the bendy figures and you know what, I'll, I'll just throw, um, we already took a look at, at Gandalf there on, on Instagram, but we'll just pop him in the back so that way he can hang out there. Um, you know, so, uh, he looks great. The paint and detail on his face alone is, it's fantastic. Um, you know, the, the little strands of hair are individually painted and they're painted pretty well. You know, as you can see, there's a little bit of the sculpt there that was missed painting, but, you know, little smudges of dirt and grime and, you know, the, the scratches on his, or, or the, the scars on his back and his spine, um, you know, he looks gaunt, he looks dirty, you know, even his feet are, their accents in between the toes, um, you know, he's got those, those big old hobbit feet, and then he does come with, uh, comes with a little, almost a little fish snack, a little shiny blue, again, well-painted fish. This is actually hard plastic, uh, there's no bendy, bendiness to the fish, but, you know, he does, he is able to hold it easily, um, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, for, for collectors, you know, you got yourself a fish for, uh, you know, for toy photography and things like that. Um, yeah, but his, his loincloth, you know, all tattered and everything. Now, again, similarly to Sauron, the, the amount of movement that you're going to get out of these guys you can actually get a little bit more with Gollum here. Um, you know, his, his arms are a little bit more forgiving. Uh, you know, he can move them. Uh, again, with, with them being bendable figures, you, you have to really take into consideration how a human, you know, would bend. So you got to try to find the elbow and keep the bend at the elbow. Otherwise, he starts to look like he has, you know, broken noodle arms. Um, you know, same with the legs. Very quickly, you get into the territory of, like you know, a broken leg because he doesn't really have any upper leg movement. That's not what these figures are about. Um, you know, he's not going to be doing the splits. He's not getting any movement here from the hips. So you really, the only movement you're getting is, uh, is from the legs, which unfortunately means, um, you know, I'm going to try to see if I can get him into some, some golem like poses, you know, after we wrap up here. But for the most part, these are pieces that are either, you know, have a play factor for kids, uh, and are just, you know, durable, bendable figures or, you know, really miniature statuettes. And, um, and, you know, here, here are the three of them, uh, next to each other, uh, three out of four, of the figures. Um, I do not have Frodo, but, uh, you know, again, based on the pictures, it's, it's, it's going to be more of the same. So let's see how Sauron and Gollum, uh, scale with some other figures. So let's pull Gandalf out of the way. Yeah, you know what? Let's see. Let's see if I can fit. 
leave Gandalf in the edge there. Leave Sauron on the other edge, and we'll we'll put some we'll put some guys in between them. So first up, um, you know, let's just see, just again, so that you can get an idea of of overall uh, of overall scale. Um, here's how they are. Here's how they stand next to you know your your normal um, Mattel WWE Elite. I got a head of the table here. This so that you can see, and again, they you know they they tower over him pretty pretty well. Um, so that's how they look with a WWE Elite. Um, here they are next to uh, an SH Figure Arts Vegeta, and again, you can see they're they're just absolutely towering over. And then something that is more in scale with them. Now, granted, again, they are on a stand, so do remember that they are on a stand. But um, here they are next to a McFarlane Toys, um, McFarlane Toys, uh, My Hero Academia, Tenya Ida. Again, you know, they have a little bit more of a leg up there because they are on their stands, but um, you know, they are more. As he, I'm holding it up to where they would actually be standing there. They're in that seven, seven inch uh, scale. And then lastly, let's just take a quick look at them with your standard Marvel Legends figure. So we have our uh, Winter Soldier cap here. And as you can see, the tower over him pretty well. So uh, I think that's all, that's all that we can really say here. Um, so let's flip it back around and let's wrap this up. All right, so Bendy Figs, Bendy Figs, um, you know, what else can we say about them? These are old school style Bendy Figs, ben, bendable figures, bendums, whatever, uh, you know, whatever moniker um, you want to use, but uh, they, they're fantastic. They are great shelf pieces with, with lots of fun detail. Sure, the glaring thing that I wish were the case were that they were in scale with each other. It just looks funny, like certain characters, like having you know, a, a golem that, um, you know, is, is really kind of actually taller than Sauron. Yeah, that's a little off-putting, but there are other, um, you know, other licenses and IPs, uh, that the Harry Potter ones, they are, uh, you know, the, the kids are in scale with each other. So if you have Ron and Hermione next to each other, it looks great because they are in scale with each other. It makes sense. There's nothing else really to kind of do with them. Um, in terms of you know like we said you know we uh there's there's not a whole lot you can do with these they are meant to be kind of posed and looked at um of course you know obviously if you are a kid these are super fun to play with you don't have to worry about really breaking anything that was always the the beauty of of bendable figures going back to like gumby and pokey and and figures like that um i mean i still had uh have a gumby and pokey somewhere that are older than me that have been played with you know for decades um these guys hold up but for collectors they look great on the shelf too the paint and uh and detail on them the sculpts are great um the glaring thing like i said is really just kind of that scale issue would have been really nice to have like a super tall sauron and you know a, a shorter golem um but for what these are the amount of detail and uh and and the level of um of sculpt that is in these is is really remarkable um and they're they are super super cool uh so you could pick these up for uh 15 a piece on places like amazon and, and other retailers we'll make sure to include some links below um like i mentioned we have lord of the rings we have harry potter star trek dc superheroes and universal monsters thus far um with more to come a big thanks once again to our friends at the noble collection and bendy figs for sending these out for us to take a look at and to, to and show off to you guys and um you know we'll, we'll take some more pictures at the end and, and see if we can get these guys into some fun poses with maybe some fun backgrounds too but um as always make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos like this uh and hit that bell icon too so that way you get a notification when we post a new one because we're posting a new one at least once a week um Make sure you're following us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter, where we're constantly posting toy news, toy photography, and all the other fun things that are going on in the toy community. And then 
the Adventures in Collecting podcast, where we are we have a new episode every week now. So uh, we every other week we have our main full length episode, and then on our off weeks we are doing the AIC 120, uh, where you give us two minutes and we give you the toy news of the week. So make sure you're subscribing to us uh, where all podcasts are found, or hit the link in the description below, which will take you to our website, and you can find all the good links to the things that I just mentioned. As always, st stay tuned after the fade for some additional photos, and until next time.